Hey everybody, uh, this is Jim, and I'm at the Blissville Electromagnetic Laboratory. Just threw this thing together because I wanted to wanted to try the filter step uh, plug-in by Audio Modern, I think it is. Um, anyway, we'll we'll figure that out later. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh. I got this little three note pattern here that's weird and then I got this uh this is a little weird timing thing and then I got this uh oh man I got it out of the Ableton instrument rack Alpine Sprinkle it seems a little complicated it seems a little glitchy but I'm going to just take it anyway um just to see what I could do with it it's got one of these it is a Max for Live kind of probability thing inside of it. So if you didn't hear that, that's me scratching my head already. Um, already I'm too deep, and I didn't even uh, put in the filter step uh, plug-in. So let me grab that. Let me just give it a little shot. So guys, this is like, it's all glitchy. like I guess the original and then um, yeah I mean I think I've used this thing like three times you can do pattern or sequence looks like it's on sequence <clears throat> there's probabilities per octave and it just it's great to just do weird stuff with this mix mixolydian scale which is a good one king uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get some swing because why not and maybe is there a triplet in here or something That'll work. And then, uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, eight, eight steps. So, um, hope everybody enjoys that little loop. Um, to make this one nine. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, this one seems to have a note division, so I'll make that five. Let's mess it up a little. Turn it back on. maybe it's certainly ugly I'll do it sounds like somebody's trying to get me on my iPhone so I'm gonna have to turn it off but uh, I'll talk to her a little later and let's get the tone in here I usually like things dark so okay great so so now let me do a little bit of this randomization thing that I've been doing a lot of lately. So a MIDI track, gonna clean up the MIDI track. I have like a little default chain. This automatically makes it audio out. So take that away. Now it's MIDI out. Then we could bring that over to the Alpine Sprinkle thing, which I didn't. I didn't. Well, I guess I did start to screw with the the effect part of it, but I didn't mess with the with the with the actual presets so I don't always do that but um, I like, kind of like it so just let me hit back in there okay it's still doing my little thing um, but I'm okay with this so let's take this copy paste it here which I got kind of the seeds of what I want and I'll make I'll make, uh, I'll make three of them Duplicate that, and then I'll do. I should have done this before, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, I'm just pasting a few more, so I'll have like nine of them. Here. So I'm sure there's better ways to do that. You guys can, uh, you, uh, if anybody actually looks at my videos, you can leave it in the comments. I always appreciate the technique. Now I'm gonna take these three, and I'm gonna change. 
post a length of them. So right now they are. I don't know what they are. No idea. Uh, let's look at them. So they're just one bars. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Da, 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 da. Here. So let's leave those like they are. Let's take these and then maybe we change some notes here. So I got the. I don't want. Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably be recording, so I'm going to shift focus over on this side. I'm going to take the recording out of that one for now, because I like to capture the weird MIDI after I get this thing set up. And going to do a little bit of this resample. This is just going to capture everything, I think, except for probably my voice. Uh, doing this whole voiceover thing is, is kind of new to me, so it's probably too low or too loud. And, I guess I'll have to, you guys are going to have to deal with it. Uh, too bad. <laughs> uh, so anyway, well, I was changing these loops around. So let me put that in a little offset place. And let me put this maybe a lot lower and right on the beat there. And then I'll move this one over here. Just kind of mess with it a little. And then, you know, I'm going to just copy both over here. So you can see it. Thing happening. Listen to that. That's good. That's good. Okay. 
Okay, so I like this so far. I'm gonna just add my little naming convention here. Which uh, sometimes includes smelling errors. Stop. 
Dodge. And click. Okay, so it's running now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably kill this in like three minutes. Or I'm gonna make a decision maybe to just throw in a bunch of reed or change the the envelope to stretch it out more and be more dreamy. But um, for now. So, here's our original track. Let me fold some of this chunk up and just take out those little. Okay, great. We said we wanted filter or something. Filter step. So I'm just gonna put it in a line. 
because most of these experiments are like just one instrument. So I will put it after the filter because it's just more classic that way. Okay. See now, my timer since I turned it on says five minutes, so I'm probably already. Oh, I can actually see. Wait, I'm 20 minutes into this recording, and I'm gonna let this go. I'm probably gonna be quiet for a little while. I'm gonna let this go for like another five, and then call it.
five minutes because I figure at the very least I might be able to just make that into a piece or maybe add something on top of it but basically that would be like the foundation of something new uh, same instance I could just grab little pieces and maybe extract the MIDI from the, from the audio or uh, I'm, in this case I'm using the MIDI I'm recording the MIDI the pure MIDI which I can, I can pull pieces out of that I can harmonize it I can learn how to play it on bass or guitar or something um, so I could do a lot with these these freeform kind of generative things um, anyway what I'm going to do now is probably just switch out the dry wet um, and change the the envelope of the, the piano sound so I have to open that up again so let's go with the dry wet first it sounds really loud uh, it's hitting the top here so I'm gonna gonna take my output down look at okay, so we've got ducking
basically end it here. And I'm thinking that my voice is too low compared to the audio. So I'm going to kick it up right now to like negative four decibels. And uh, I, I, if the audio doesn't come out on this, I mean, I might not even put this up. I don't know. Um, this is the first time I've done this. So what I do now is I look at each track and I just start killing them. So I'll leave the, the kind of standard one and I'm going to kill the second one. Right, so then it goes to the cycle and it stops. I know those clips are going. Now this, this should, it doesn't always work, but this should cause a bit of a, a lessening. I can't, I can't say that it is. So what I'll do here is just... I could, I could just kill the whole divider thing. But I think I'll do that last. So I'll take the, the straight time now and just kill it. And finally this track. So there's no more MIDI being sent in. But like I said, I think there's something trapped inside of this step divider. So pretty sure if I stop that. Yeah, there you go. See, now it's fading out. So, if I do use that as a piece, I have kind of a end. I mean, I could use that anywhere as an end. Or reverse it, make it into a, you know, your standard kind of uh, break, kind of riser thing that people do. Just reverse audio and it gets loud. Wow, it's very exciting, I guess. Um, I, I don't usually do stuff like that, but it could come up. I might make it into a joke or something. So I'm going to end this video. I want to thank anybody who got this far. Because now we're at almost 35 minutes. Just about at the 35 minute bar, people. And uh, I can't imagine anybody got through this whole thing. I, I don't know if I ever will. So um, have a swell day. And uh, I'll take care, everybody. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.